Hey everyone, Eat Sleep from the Techies here, and I uh, got another SolidWorks tutorial. Today we're going to be working with uh, creating a new planes and lofting between those planes. So what I talk, I'm talking about is, say, from the reference point of our front plane, we can either create a, we can create another plane with respect to this plane. We can create one virtually like anywhere. You can create a perpendicular to it. You can create one behind create one in front, to angled over here somewhere, really anywhere. Um, but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a plane, let's say in the front. You can do the back, but I'll just choose the front because, because I can. And then we're going to be drawing two shapes on, well, one shape on each of the two planes and lofting between those shapes. Lofting be between planes, basically. So what we're going to do is we're going to create our front plane. You can do this from the top or the right plane, doesn't really matter. You just need one of these three references and create a plane by going to reference geometry and hitting plane. So you have a bunch of options here. You can make it parallel, which is putting it on top of each other. Perpendicular, which makes it perpendicular. You have it coincide at some point on the plane. Or you can do it at an angle, which is what I was talking about. And you can do it at a distance. So you can have some cr pretty crazy things going on. Um, so basically, let's go uh, 100. Sounds okay. We'll go 100 millimeters. Yeah, that's okay. Go ahead and hit check. And uh, as you can see right here, it went ahead and created a new plane um, 100 millimeters behind the front plane. And of course, you can change the name by making it, I don't know, behind. There you go. Simple as that. Um, so the next thing we're going to do. Let me go ahead and go normal to, so right now we're on the front plane, and we have to draw two shapes, uh, one of them on the front plane and one of them on the plane I named behind. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the front plane, click sketch, so we can sketch on it, and let's make a square. And I'm going to go ahead and give this, um, well, make it fully defined. Basically, for it, um, it to be fully defined, that means um, it has... I actually don't know how to describe it, but basically everything shows up black, and it means you can't move it without messing up the um, uh, thing. So let's create another center line through the origin. And we want this center line, this center line, this center line, they, we want them to be, where's the option to do that? Actually want the center here. This and this need to enter, oh, that line seven and six. This point line to midpoint. Um, and basically we want this, let's say, 40, and this distance, um, from here to here, to be 20, oh, okay, that's already fully defined. So, let's go ahead and see what we can move, you don't, again, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and show you. Okay, so we can move it up and down. So what we want to do is we want to define this height, I think. Yeah, so we'll go 40, make it a square. And uh, we can still move. So we're going to take these two points, and we want to make them in the midpoint. So now, our, um, actually, we probably don't need that line, that center line. But now it's fully defined, which means um, you can't move it anywhere, which means it's um, dimension to, um, it has all of its references that it needs. So, okay, so again, we drew that on the, go ahead and okay, we drew that on the front plane. So now we can go to the behind plane, make that normal too, and go ahead and go to sketch. Sketch on the behind, or did we sketch on the? All right, cool, yeah. So let's go to the behind plane. Hit sketch. Wow, that looks weird. 
Okay. Make that normal. Go ahead and sketch. Okay. Sketch. Okay, so now we're on the behind plane and we can mess around with this however we want. Again, let's go ahead and hit sketch and make this some arbitrary thing that we have. And, um, sure, we can kind of fully define, we'll just midpoint and, oh, well, <laughs> never mind. I'm not going to go ahead and fully define that. It's a pain in the ass. But anyways, um, so we have our two sketches on our front and on our behind plane. So we're going to go ahead and go to features, go to lofted. And it's going to give us where we want to loft from and to. And here you can choose all these different points. You can choose here, any of these points, and maybe, for example, we can go there. Or you can change the lofting location to up top. It gives us this shape. Actually, that looks pretty cool. <laughs> okay, so that's, um, that's it. Lofting from plane to plane, pretty simple. Just um, make sure your thing is fully defined and that takes a little practice. But anyways, guys, that's about it. Thank you for watching. This has been Eat Sleep from the Techies. Be sure to check out the Techies website for great game and software reviews, as well as a database of all Techies videos. Also, please sign up to our forum where you can request a tutorial or just talk about something that interests you.